After some of you may have paid damages to the IRS on April 15th, investors like yourselves are now more painfully aware of their costly tax liabilities now more than ever. Why does this matter at the end of tax season? Well, we're going to break it all down for you right now on UBS Trending. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of UBS Trending. I'm Anthony Pastore. Really happy to be here with you and also to be here with my guest, Kathleen McNamara, from the Chief Investment Office here at UBS, our senior municipal strategist. Kathleen, as we said, some people had to pay the IRS this year, but given where rates are, and we're going to talk about particularly the municipal bond market, there may be some opportunities. So clearly top taxes are top of mind for everybody, especially as, as I said, some paid. So after paying those damages, investors kind of renew their focus on what they should do this year for the next tax season. So what, what can you tell us about the state of munis in regards to this conversation? Sure, Anthony, I'm happy to. And I'm certainly focused on, on those taxes myself yeah. <laughs> after paying that, that bill uh, just a week ago. So um, what I'd say in, in terms of the state of the muni market, I mean, what we're seeing now is that Tax exempt yields have increased year to date, as I'm sure you're aware of. But we've also seen supply, the pace of new issues supply, creep upwards. Mm. And that's had an impact on, you know, the overall opportunities in the muni space, as we'll get to a little bit, bit later. But, you know, the reasons for, you know, treasuries going up, as, as you already know, you know, we have stronger economic growth. Right now, it looks like the, the Fed's probably going to be cutting rates a little bit later. Um, economy a little bit more resilient, so rates have, have gone up. But more recently, in just the past couple of weeks, we've seen rates on tax exempt munis move at a much more rapid pace, you know, much higher. And they're actually moved, back, moved up to levels that are not too far away from the long-term average annual returns on equity security. So they're, they're quite interesting. Yeah. And bringing, it, bringing the topic back to taxes, keep in mind, Munis are exempt from federal, state, and local taxation, as well as, your CPA may have reminded you of this, there's also a net investment income tax that's imposed on taxable passive income. That tax does not apply to munis. So therefore, these tax advantages that munis have are very noteworthy, particularly for high net worth investors. Right. It's like the trifecta plus one <laughs> when it comes to munis, right? Yeah. So I, on a, <laughs> but on a tax equivalent basis, Kathleen... How, how are munis looking right now? Because they seem pretty attractive. Yes. Um, as a matter of fact, um, on my chart, I show the yield curve, mm -hmm. right? And I show that taxable equivalent yields at the front part of the curve, meaning like one to two year maturities, are now up at like 6%, which is pretty high, right? As you go further out on the curve, as you could also see on my chart, taxable equivalent yields jump to 65 to 7% on the long end, and that's accounting for federal taxation only. If we account for high t tax states like California, New York, New Jersey, and so forth, therefore, in those instances, the taxable equivalent yields could be as high as 8% or even 9%. Wow. Right, so that's where my comment earlier about, wow, once you're looking at a taxable equivalent yield of you know 8% or so, then you have to start thinking about, okay, the long-term average annual historical returns on equities is about 8%. You know, so that, that really um, makes munis look pretty attractive. Pretty attractive. It seems very attractive, <laughs> yes. especially for many investors yes. who are looking for that way to kind of manage their portfolios without having to worry about too many tax consequences exactly. down the road. So let's talk about those investment opportunities, Kathleen. Sure. Now that we've talked about the opportunity and what tax equivalent yields mm -hmm. look like, right. what are, say, the top muni strategies that you're looking at and you're talking about right now? Anthony, there's really three topics that we're talking to clients about right now. The first is what kind of what we just talked about, lock in higher taxable equivalent yields on the long end of the curve now, right? We do think that rates are eventually going to fall. We think rates are going to move lower towards the end of the year. That's going to boost muni performance. So not only could you get in now at, and earn some higher income, but you also have the potential for capital gains later in the year. So we think that's real important. Um, that said, we still are recommending that barbell portfolio, you know, keep a certain amount in the short end. Remember I showed you where that value was on the front end of That's the curve? Right. For liquidity, right? And then lock in some of those 
longer term rates, which are very attractive right now. So that's the number one uh, topic that we're talking about. Number two, I'm talking about supply. You know, munis is a very supply driven market. So when you have a burst of supply, which is what we have right now, it's a seasonal trend, Mar right. March and April, but we have that. And at the same time, if treasury rates are rising, then munis are going to back up even more, which is a very good opportunity to get in. I mean, historically, it has been the case. And I think that the current environment is probably not going to prove to be an exception. Wow. It's incredible. And there's another one you said. What about the muni sector itself? Yeah. I mean, the other topic that we always talk to our clients about is diversification. Mm -hmm. You know, some people will say, oh, you know, I don't want to buy munis. It's just, you know, one, one type of credit. No, no, no. There's a wide array of credits that you can invest in in the muni space to diversify a portfolio, right? We always talk about diversifying a portfolio. And within munis, Plenty of sectors to choose from. Right now, we like airports. You know, big rebound in travel. You're traveling tomorrow. I am. I think, as a right? matter of fact, right? yeah. I was traveling last week. That's right. I mean, the airports were jammed. Um, so airport bonds, we've seen um, quite a quite a rebound there. You know, on the credit side. So we like that. We also like utilities, and we like state and local governments. So you know, lots of sectors for clients to invest in, build, a construct. A very you know well-diversified portfolio. That's great, Kathleen. It's, it's, it's really interesting to hear how much availability there is, especially, as you said, from an inventory perspective. But really, even widening it more is the opportunity to diversify within munis themselves. Like you said, it's not just one type of investment. It's, it's multiple sectors. It's multiple sure. industries. Great. Kathleen, thank you so much. And by the way, yeah, munis are looking really attractive right now. They are. So good Absolutely. opportunity. Yeah, good opportunity for our viewers who are investors to speak with their financial advisors. Thanks, Kathleen. Great to see you, Anthony. You too, Kathleen. Always a pleasure. And as we said, make sure you're continuing this conversation with your financial advisor if you're interested in learning more about how these muni, some of these muni strategies can fit into your portfolio with your investment horizons. And backing up a little bit, make sure you're checking out all of the great content from Kathleen McNamara and the rest of the Chief Investment Office at our insights page at UBS.com forward slash views. Plus, you can follow UBS on social media, including our Instagram page at UBS Trending. Lots of content up there for you to take a look through. Until next time, I'm Anthony Pastore. Have a great day, everyone. Remember to keep your eyes on what's trending. We'll see you soon.